Welcome back to Stoner Watch Clone Wars Debrief. Today we're going to be breaking down Season 7, Episode 10, Phantom Apprentice. Now we had a runtime of 28 minutes for this week, being directed by Nathaniel Villanueva, written by Dave Filoni, created by George Lucas, of course. Starring Ashley Eckstein as Ahsoka Tano, Jiglin Howey as Almac, Katie Sackoff as Bo-Katan, Dee Bradley Baker as Clone Troopers and Commander Rex, Ray Stevenson as Gar Saxton, Vanessa Marshall, Gauntlet Pilot and Rook Cast, Sam Whitmer as a Mandalorian guard and Maul, then we got David Cord, Bonnie Wilde, and Matthew Wood playing Mandalorians. James Hunter Taylor returns as Obi-Wan Kenobi, and this week they've got listed Lauren May Kim as Ahsoka performance and Ray Park as Maul performance. Now the description reads, Ahsoka and Republic forces confront Maul on Mandalore. Now this is the second in the Season of Mandalore story arc. We got the red title card again this week, but the opening music was different. It wasn't the main theme and or the Clone Wars theme. It was a lot more ominous and subdued. And there was no narrator. We just pick up right where we left off last Friday. Now, I want to say I really love this episode, not more so than last week because it all ties together and I think it needs to be almost looked at as a whole, in my opinion. Now, I thought it was really action-packed. The lightsaber fight scenes were just awesome and well choreographed, especially since Ray Park was involved and listed as a performance. It's probably safe to say it was motion capture, and I want to give Laura Mae Kim another shout-out for her performance for Ahsoka because that was just awesome, too. Sam Wentworth did a great job voicing Maul, as usual. Man, he really brings that character to life. You know what I'm saying? Now we pick up right where we left off last week. Ahsoka surrounded by Death Watch and Maul. He says he thought for sure Kenobi would come himself and bring Skywalker with him. Ahsoka says Master Kenobi had more important engagements. Maul says I'm sure he does. And then says as in thinking out loud, maybe the time is upon us. Then he says why you? Why did Kenobi send you to Mandalore and not come himself? Ahsoka says why don't you surrender and we both can go ask him. Now Maul tells Ahsoka about Sidious and hints at the rise of the Empire but does not seem to know how or win. Ahsoka manages to call Rex and the clones for backup. Maul uses the force to throw Rex on top of Ahsoka and is able to escape into the tunnels for the time being. I really like how this is happening alongside the events of Revenge of the Sith. Because during the meeting with Ahsoka, Bo-Katan, and Rex and Obi-Wan, Bo-Katan insists on capturing Maul before he can escape. Ahsoka then tells Obi-Wan Maul mentions Darth Sidious. Obi-Wan says the council suspects Darth Sidious is behind orchestrating the whole Clone War, playing both sides. He says he first learned of the name Sidious from Dooku, but won't be able to get any more information from him. When Ahsoka asks him why, we find out from Obi-Wan Dooku is now dead, killed by Anakin while rest the Chancellor. He says with Dooku gone, they lost a vital way to learn more about Sidious, but says if they could capture Maul, they might be able to find the missing pieces to this puzzle. Ahsoka requests more troops, but Obi-Wan says he cannot because he is headed to get Grievous. Ahsoka asks what about Anakin? Maybe he can reinforce us. After asking to speak Ahsoka alone, Obi-Wan then tells Ahsoka Anakin has been assigned a special mission from the Council to observe the Chancellor and report his finding. To spy, Ahsoka says, just like Anakin did. She asks why and Obi-Wan says the Senate has allowed the Chancellor to stay in office well after his term has expired. The Council wants to know what his true intentions are. She then says the Chancellor has been a great friend and mentor to Anakin. She can't imagine he's happy about this. Obi-Wan confirms he is not and then asks her to speak with him. She says, why? To back up the Council? She says, I am the last one to do this because she was wrongly accused and expelled by the Council for bombing the temple. After being found innocent and offered back into the Order, she refused and walked away. Rex runs in and says there's been an attack. And we're back in the tunnels under the city. We find that Maul has captured the Ark Trooper Jesse. Now this scene of Maul questioning and using the force to torture to get the info out of Jesse seemed like a little nod to when Kylo Ren did the same to Rey and Poe in The Force Awakens. Maul sends Saxon to kill the Prime Minister to make sure he doesn't talk. While Ahsoka, bo and Rex question the Prime Minister to find out Maul's plan, which he is reluctant to tell him anything, Ahsoka tells bo to motivate him. But before she can, he's killed by Saxon. But the Prime Minister still is able to tell Ahsoka Maul was after Anakin, and then he dies. Bo-Katan chases after Saxton, but her jetpack is damaged in the fight, and he is able to escape. When Saxton meets back up with Maul, he's talking with Marge Krim of the Pikes, Prince Caesar of Black Sun, and Dryden Voss of the Crimson Dawn Crime Syndicates. Saxton asks what is going on. Rook Cass says Maul has instructed the Crime Syndicates to go into hiding. Maul then rallies Saxon and the Death Watch to fight in an all-out war. As the Republic is hurting Mandalore's people to safety, Bo-Katan says the occupation can't last forever. Her people won't stand for it, she won't stand for it. Rex reminds her she's the one who asked them for help. His men don't want to be police force. 
As they enter the throne room, Maul is there with the Ark Trooper Jesse. This seems kind of like a call back to Empire Strikes Back, because Bo-Katan draws her blasters and starts firing at Maul, which he easily bats away with the Force. He then stops her by choking her with it. Maul then lets her go and says, Is that any way to treat your rightful ruler? He then lets Jesse go. A sign of good faith, he says. As Jesse walks up to Rex, who then asks him if he's alright, Jesse says, Sorry, sir. I told him everything. The circus says that's okay, and for Rex to get him out of there. And like on cue, the fighting breaks outside and the Ahsoka then tells Bo-Katan to go out and help her people. Maul tries to recruit Ahsoka to be his apprentice, but after he says Anakin is his master's new apprentice and he wants to kill Anakin, all bets are off. Now this lightsaber fight scene I would love to see in live action. It was just awesome. I had to say this one ranks right up there as one of my new top faves. I don't know if any other lightsaber fight scenes were done like this with motion capture for the past Clone Wars episodes, but it was awesome. Meanwhile, the battle between Saxton and Death Watch against Rex and the Republic forces rages on outside. Ahsoka then kicks Maul out the window. She chases after him. Down below, Bo-Katan shows up with her people and is able to turn to tide, defeating and capturing Saxon after being left for dead by Maul. Above the city, Maul tries to escape. Ahsoka says, Master Obi-Wan was right. You are hard to kill. She then attacks furiously. Maul is able to knock her lightsabers out of her hands. Maul, thinking he has the upper hand, offers one last time for her to join him or die. She refuses and then Maul advances on her as he strikes with his double bladed lightsaber Ahsoka wrenches it out of his hands and he starts to fall towards the city below. She catches him with the force. Rex and the Mandalorians arrive in time to capture Maul with cables and stun blasts. With Ahsoka looking up the episode ends there. Wow, man, I just can't wait to see what happens next week. So what are your thoughts on this episode? Let me know in the comments down below. What did you think of that lightsaber duel between Ahsoka and Maul? Probably the best one I've ever seen in quite a while. And it being motion capture, it really felt real. Again, I don't know if they did that in other episodes, but I really liked it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. So where do you think we will be in the events of Revenge of the Sith next week? You think we're going to see the start of Order 66? Let me hear you down below. Make sure you click on that subscribe button so you can be notified every time I drop another video. Hey, while you're at it, check out one of my other movie review videos or check out one of my drum cover videos. Give it a like, give it a share, join in the discussion in the comments down below. Have a good day. Peace.